Well, this is just uh, an example of the kind of ships that uh, Connor will come in uh, to contact with and engage with in Assassin's Creed 3. Uh, we thought it was a good uh, place to bring, uh, bring the people and kind of show what it felt like to be on them and uh, how we kind of, our thought our thought process and, you know, recreating these ships and why they were interesting. Uh, this particular ship yes. isn't in the game. Uh, it's just, like I said, it's, it's an example of the kind of ships that were, uh, that are in the game. This one uh, did, wasn't built yet uh, during our time. Uh, um, okay. <laughs> but it's, it, it, is, it, it is a period ship as well and it has a, has a great history uh, for us it was just about you know recreating this kind of the sense of being at sea and, and, and the scale and the, and the power of these of these vessels yeah I mean for us it was a balance between having those interesting historical moments so which you know those pivotal moments in history that we want to explore and, and um, be a part of it as an Assassin's Creed uh, game but also to have you know engaging fun moments as, as just for, from a pure gameplay perspective so it was a, it was a, it was a tough challenge to try and find the ones that fit both those criteria. But we found some really interesting, uh, some, some battles in the Battle of the Chesapeake, for example, which is a great historical moment, which is a, really an epic sea battle that, that you'll be able to take part in. And it's about trying to have that sense of fun, but at the same time, you know, experiencing something you may be uh, read about in, the story, in books. Oh, well, I mean, naval history, but before that I was uh, I was an amateur at best before before Assassin's Creed 3, but I, I, I worked directly on the, uh, the naval aspect of the game. And uh, throughout it, I became a, a little bit of a I wouldn't say an expert, but I, I, know, I know my way around the, the naval history now, and I have a pretty good idea of uh, how, how it works. He's coming about, sir! Full sail! Full sail! Up sail! Up sail! Fire! She can't take much more Give of that! I would have to say the Battle of the Chesapeake is probably my favorite one in, in terms of the scale and what, as a moment to, to experience as a, as a gamer. It's an incredible battle with a huge French blockade and there's English ships trying to punch through and the colonial ships are supporting the French ships and it was really a pretty, uh, pretty uh, pivotal and uh, dramatic moment in the war and I think players are going to enjoy uh, experiencing it. We, we wanted to weave it into the narrative so that it felt like it was, part, it was part of the game, it wasn't just like something on the side. So he is very much, it's part of who he is and, and the story of how he gets the ship and becomes a captain and learns well, how, to, how to pilot a vessel and all that stuff is, is very much part of the, of, the, of the main narrative and we've woven in that aspect of the game into the whole kind of uh, structure so it's, it's really much like it's, 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 in, it's in there. In this water, sir! She should be safe now, but it's a hot chase. Get after them and end the threat on the vineyard. Gunboats! Don't get it done with you and